Good evening, everybody. This is Coach Tyra with Tyra Vapes. I'm coming to you with yet another review. Um, see, V Spot Vape sent me two different juices. One of them, in which is one exactly. If I had to peel it back, you see, it's almost gone. My daughter is in love with it. That is Schmog's Horde. They asked me if you were to choose the juice, what would it be? And I was like, Cherry Limey. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you about what I feel about this. I have sub-ohmed both of these juices. I'm not going to show you. Maybe I should. Well, I'll show you. Charlie, you're going to have to wait. This is a sneak video. You're not getting the full what I think about the IVP3 yet. You're not getting the full what I think about the Atlantis Aspire yet. Or Aspire Atlantis yet. You're not going to get it. But you will get The old fashioned American Cloud Chuck. I have on here. Do I have enough? Just enough. I'm actually waiting for a charger, so I have to be gentle. Let me make sure I've got enough to even show you this. But I have in here the cherry limeade, and I vaped an entire tank of. Dude, my friend said to me, you're going to be walking around with a box? Yep. <laughs> you bet I am. That's just really great. Okay, so besides how awesome that is sub ohm at 30 watts. Yeah, I'm never going back. I'm never going back. What is that? It's like a Fleetwood Mac song or Stevie Nicks song. Never going back again. Anyway, that's my song for the day. I am drinking Shock Top. Now, I am not a micro brew or a craft of beer kind of girl at all. As a matter of fact, I like to call myself a straight up a Pilsner kind of girl. And the most exotic beer that I like is Corona. Okay, that's it. <coughs> um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get away with making more of this video without my dog. But anyway, now that I'm a vapor, it's funny, I can drink things I would not think I would drink. So here I have a uh, shock top. I can't read for shit. Honey crisp apple wheat. I know all my friends, if you're watching this, you're saying, what's happened to her? Next thing you know, she'll be drinking Sierra Nevada. Um, in here is the cherry limeade. Let me tell you something. Together, it has improved my experience with this shock top dramatically. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I'm really excited about these two vape flavors. And, you know, Josh and Joel asked me, I, you know, if you're going to give a review, give an honest review. I'm always going to give an honest review. My attitude may change. That's for sure. However, I made sure I smoked more, more than one tank of that. And I did it both with my eye stick and then one tank, which goes very quickly, <laughs> at 30 watts on the IPv3 with the Atlantis sub ohm tank. This as well. This here, um, no one's gotten a tank from me on this, so this will be gone pretty fast. However, mixing it, you know, like Ruby Roostyle, she does a vape pairing. This is a cherry limeade. You get cherry on the inhale, lime in the middle, and then aid on the out. It's fucking awesome. I love this shit. And, um... Yeah, I'm probably going to start hoarding it pretty quick. It's like I don't even want to try a French inhale with it. It's like I don't want to, I want to suck it into my lungs right away. Let me see if I can do one. So good. Every which way. Oh my God. So, Sarah said she's going to start hoarding this. I get one more tank out of this. That's it. And so 
I'm going to give her a tank out of this and then I'm going to start hoarding that. Both of these are from Vaporite and which you can purchase at V-Spot Vapes. Absolutely delicious. The cherry limeade is phenomenal. The Schmog's Hoard is a f Schmog's, Schmog's Hoard is fantastic. This is an all day, every day kind of vape. This may be too much flavor for all day, every day for everyone, although I could vape it all day, every day. Not a problem. I'll be right back. I'm going to cut this. I'm going to put this on the thingy, so I'm just going to let it roll. 5 minutes, 29 seconds. I'm back. 6 minutes, 37 seconds, so now I know where to speed up. Anyway, um, this cherry limeade in the sub-ohm tank is, you can taste all the layers of it, all the way, okay, which I assume would be natural for that kind of thing, in the Aspire Nautilus Mini. It's a smoother transition from flavor to flavor, so it's cherry, lime, aid, literally, like the name. It's fucking crazy. Excellent vapor. I think the vapor production on this flavor is better, and there's no reason in the world why it should be. Okay, there's none. It's 50-50s, both of them. Maybe it's maybe I'm taking deeper hits. I'm not sure. I love it. So I'm thinking you might too. I'm thinking that you might too. So definitely vspotvapes.com. It's so easy and their page is very easy to navigate and they're great guys and definitely would say this is a beast. It comes in 18 milliliters so it's not 15, it's not 10, it's 18 and you can choose your nicotine level. Your, your, it's fixed at a 50-50 VGPG flavor shot or anything like that. It's just what it is and it's from Vaporite. And it, it makes a Pilsner girl happy with a craft brew. Because if this was a review on Shop Top, whatever the name is, let's look at the name again. Honey Crisp Apple Wheat. Uh, you know, for me, I mean, there you go. You know, there you go. That's what, you know, taste tests are very subjective. Um, but I really like it. If you if you ever thought that cherry lime would be a nice vape, I can tell you right now, if you thought it, you're going to like this. So I suggest you get it. That's what happens when you you vape at 30 watts as fast as you possibly can. So I'm excited. Really excited. Almost like a margarita. Okay, so while we're in this juice review, I'm going to go ahead and give you an update. You're going to be getting a lot of juice reviews out of me this week. You are also going to be getting at least a three to four day impression of the IPv3. You've all seen lots of reviews. If you're anything like me, you've researched the shit out of it. It's an awesome, high-powered China box mod. You can go ahead and open the door and let them in, whatever you got to do. Um, and I've seen everyone's dislikes and likes, and I've seen people unscrew the back and do all that stuff. And You know, I might get up close and personal. It depends on whether or not the camera we have that would do that works. If it doesn't, you're not going to get that part. What I'll do is I'll suggest to you somebody I think that took a, a part in the box in the way I feel I would, okay? Um, you're gonna get my review. As of right this minute, the IPv3 fucking rocks. I Again, I have nothing to compare it to. I've never done a high power box mod ever. But I can't imagine, based on what people say about performance and all that fun stuff, that, um, that my opinion doesn't isn't valid. You know what I'm saying? It's because I know people out there that prefer that all day long over the Segeli. And I think the Segeli is a sexy box. I'm sure I'd love it. I'm sure. I'm sure I'd be bat crazy for it. However, I won the IPv3, and you know what I'm bat crazy for? That. 
I'm going to give you my rundown of what I think of the um, Aspire Atlantis. Um, first impressions as a newbie, first time sub -oming. You know what? I, I don't think you can really go wrong with that. I really just don't. Um, I, I brought it, the highest I brought up on the watts last night was 35, and that is beyond manufacturer recommendation. But I also got a cute little, a cute little tank to protect it and stuff. Oh, so excited! So you're gonna see a lot of reviews. Blah blah blah. That's what's happening right now. I'm vaping cherry lemon. <laughs> The vapor production is fantastic. This is at 12 watts on an eye stick. Now that I know what fantastic vapor production is, that's fantastic. So I am, I'm right love. That's, if I was going to give you my personal favorite out of these two, this chai, cherry limeade kicks ass. This is a vape all day, every day. I like it. I'm not like holy fucking floored like I am with this. I have no idea what that's about. But pomegranate? I won't run away from that. I thought I would. I won't run away from that. You like pomegranate? You need to do that. So, anyway, back to my shock top. I'll work my way through these beers. I swear I'll do okay. This, um, the cherry lime out, lime aid brings out the part of the shock, shock top I want. You know what I mean? It's it's muting the... the Belgian wheat, I guess. It's muting that wheat. I mean, I guess it's a good beer. I don't know. <laughs> I'm a Corona girl. That's good beer to me. That's all for now. I think I've got you. I love you a long time. Don't forget, leave me a comment, drop me a like, subscribe if you haven't, come visit me on Facebook and Twitter and G+, and Tumblr, and Instagram, and, you know, all the places. Just Tara Vapes, Google search it. You'll find me. I love you all. Peace.